Alright there YouTubers, this is your man Torch here, bringing you part 10 I think this is, yes, part 10 of our Minecraft series. And finally all our sugarcane has grown. So this is the final piece of the puzzle to make our enchanting table, so we can finally get the books. We've got obsidian and we've got the diamonds. So we have enough dirt to make another row for our sugarcane lines. So I'm just going to make another couple of rows maybe, so we can keep some for ourselves. Brings back like this, and yeah, because we need some for ourselves, I'm just going to make one row. And take this all out, obviously keep the bottom line so it can regrow. But it was taking forever to grow, so I just left my Minecraft on, I just sat in my house, and you know, my hunger bar was really low, but I sat in my house, come back from my shower, and it had all grown. So just leaving it on pause, I thought it was a pretty smart idea. So we have 64 sugarcane and 6. Which is enough to make a couple of books and fill up the rest of these lines. Then when we fill up all of these and we get enough, we'll make the bookshelves to make the little like library that goes around the enchantment table to make it more powerful. That will be good. Just make a normal enchantment table for now. Whoa, lag. Sorry. So, just one more line. That'll give us five lines of sugarcane to farm next time. And this will be enough for two books, won't it? Yeah, it should be. So, next time, we'll fill up. I'm just gonna, we'll fill up these two rows. Yeah. Like this, I'm just going to bring these back. We'll fill up these and we'll, you know, take out this sand. So the time after that, we can extend it even more. So I always do a sugar cane. I'm obsessed with it. Now the water's gone funny. Oh well. So if we add six lots of 15, it's 15, 30, 45, 60. It's about. I don't know, probably around like 75, 60 that area amounts of sugarcane can't bother to do maths it's the weekend but let's turn this all into books oh, I think I remember how to make the enchanted table I think it's four obsidian on the bottom a couple of diamonds either side and books on the top I'm sure we'll figure it out just gotta remember the creeper hole then turn left I mean, you're our house. Oh, we're not in peaceful, are we? No, because I haven't seen any mobs about. It's the middle of the night. It's weird. Right, though. I think to make paper, it's like this. No. Let's make paper, it's like this. Yes. Let's turn this all into paper. Seven. Or just make it eight. One, two, one, two, one, two. And okay. Now we got all this paper. Make books go like this, don't you? Yeah, I remember now. So we can just divide this. Shift click it. Nice. Sugar cane valuable chest. And now we can make our enchanting table. Oh, our food's done. Need to eat now, actually. Also, we need to top up our furnaces on coal. This is going to run out eventually, so we've got diamonds, obsidian. I think it's obsidian like this. I'm pretty sure it's like that. Then that like that. And that like that. No. Oh, we only need one book. I thought we needed two. But goodbye, two diamonds. Oh. Okay. Now, what I was planning to do, actually, I should use one. No. No, I won't do that actually, we'll use iron. And what I was planning on doing is making a room below our nether. Let's make a spade. So, so it's like we've got different levels, like we've got the top floor for our main house, nether here, and we carry on going down, you know, for the next room for the enchanting table, because I'm going to need to make it bigger, like a, a big room like this, so we can put the bookcases. I'm not sure if you know, but. If you if you put if you surround an enchanting table 
with bookshelves, then it will um it will make it more powerful. So one, two, three, four, five, stick five down. It's so one, two actually let's bring some ladders with us. That'd probably be a smart idea. Can't get back out now. Need five ladders, won't we? Oh I knew them sticks would come in handy eventually. And these so you only need to make one lot for three here. So this back in the chest. All right. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Nice. So you carry on going down. Let's get to this room. Wait, it'd only be four high then, wouldn't it? One, two, three, four. He needs to go another one down. So let's take this out. We'll make each room the same size, roughly. So how many is it along? One, two, three, four, five, six. You need to six, dig six along. That's one, two, three. This is the third one, ain't it? One, two, three. No, this is the fourth one. Four, five. That's five along. So I think that is the right size. Oh, wait, no, one more. There we go. Now we can start digging the other way. Oh, gravel pocket. This could be awkward. Christ. We know it's gonna. We will have to take out this first wall, obviously. I can hear something wob, like, like wobbing, but I, I just figured out it was the nether portal. Um, we need to get rid of this, Tommy. Yeah. Oh, look at all this gravel. It's gonna be so awkward. Right. Um. So how many along? One, two, what's that doing there? Put this in there. So, one, two, three, five. Yes, five. Five long. Place that ladder here now. So, that's, that's one, two, three, four. Don't know why I'm taking out gravel with pickaxe. This is the fifth one. Okay, that's looking good. Now I'm going to take out this big block in the middle. Without trying to get all the gravel to cave in on ourselves. It shouldn't though, because like none of this floor is made of gravel, I don't think. No, it isn't. So yeah, it, it, it's pretty like this, this layer here. It's pretty like just gravel, so... Actually, it'll probably be easier because we can just mine the bottom one and it will all fall down on top of us. Like this. Getting loads of flint from this. Got like 15 bits of flint in the chest. Take out this iron. Nicely done. Go back up. This is weird how I've mo ha like managed to mine around this. Another couple up. Not much left. Take out this. Get all this dirt up with the spade. Couple of bits of dirt and just this. Oh no, not sand. Wait what? Oh, we've we, oh we've gone one too high. That's okay. We can just fill this thing from here, can we? Yeah. It's because the floor was made from sand up top, so oh, I've gone one too high again. So yeah, what I'll do when I get enough uh, books and paper and sugarcane and all that good stuff, we'll um make bookshelves. Do we need to do that? 
and surround the enchantment table with it. That's why I'm going to put the enchantment table weirdly placed, like in a random place. Oh, no more sand. Oh, there's a dungeon nearby as well. Did you hear that? You probably probably didn't actually, because my sound's pretty low. My commentary's pretty loud. So, if we're going to have the enchantment table here, or here, the bookshelf would have to come up like this. I'll take this all down when I get enough uh, shelves. But yeah, it has to come around like this, don't it? Need like one space in between everything. I haven't got enough dirt to like build with the prototype you could call it. But it's pretty much like this. Just gravel for the rest of it. Um this one along here. Yeah, this is what we'll do with the bookshelves. So I'm just, I'm gonna count all this when we're done as well. Find out how many we're gonna need. Oh, we can't place gravel there. Yeah, we're gonna need one there. So one. Oh, this is gonna take ages. Oh, three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one, twenty-four, uh, twenty-seven, thirty, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-six, thirty-nine. We start somewhere around here, so we're gonna need about forty, around forty bookcases. It's gonna be awkward, but oh well. I might as well enchant this now. I'll just try and get something high, at least five or six. Oh, there's five there. Efficiency. Oh, that's right. So there's our second room done for now. It's looking good. And I'm gonna burn this iron up quickly. And we haven't done much exploring. We've done loads of exploring underground, but not much exploring of the world above, have we? So, you know what, in the next part, I'm going to explore the world above. And also, I want to go into the nether, see if we can find some good glowstone and all that. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this Minecraft part, where we made the prototype for our shining table. It's all under the house, under here somewhere. So, if you enjoyed this, then please give a like and a favourite. And if you're looking forward to exploring the world above in the next part, then be sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. And I'll see you there.